Link's top wings 90 to 78 as Hydeemon brings needed spark. Nutisha Hydeemon has the plan. Hello. Please click join button to help me get equipments and make more quality videos for you, or you know just to get me a juice. Thanks already. Before every game like she did recently at practice she's going to turn an ankle. On Monday night at Target Center in front of the Lynx's biggest crowd of the season, 8314, and with a sore ankle that landed her on the team's injury report Hydeeman came off the bench and won a game for the team. Minnesota, 11-3, beat Dallas 90-78 in a choppy game in which the Wings, 3-10, without leading scorer Eric Ogunbowl tried to beat the Lynx inside. Minnesota won its fourth consecutive game and seventh in the past day. And you can credit this one to Hydeeman. It was kind of flowing Hydeeman said after scoring 17 points her first Lynx game in double figures. There were a lot of options a lot of stuff in transition. My teammates made everything easy. I was just able to get going today. It's been a minute. Hydeeman was acquired in an off-season trade with the idea of making the Lynx harder to play against on the perimeter. The start of the season was sometimes difficult for Hydeeman especially when it came to scoring. On some nights she didn't play a lot. On others she didn't score much. But she remained ready. We needed someone to step up and T did exactly that said Alana Smith who scored 12 points and battled for a season high 9 rebounds against the Wings height. She had 5 steals 4 of the 6 by the Lynx in the 4th quarter. People say she had a little rough start Smith continued. We've all known she's been ready to go. She's prepared. And she's a dog too. Super fast. Great passer. We needed all that tonight and she delivered that and more. I know it's just the start for T. Here's how she did it. Late in the third quarter the Lynx trailed 59-57 after Monique Billings who was one assist short of a triple-double scored. Then Hydeeman went to work. With 2.03 left in the quarter Hydeeman drove scored was fouled and made the free throw. The Lynx got a stop then Hydeeman was fouled and hit both free throws with 1.41 left. The Wings scored but the Lynx answered with Hydeeman feeding Smith for a layup. Cecilia Zandalasinai's two free throws gave the Lynx a 9-4 finish to the quarter and a 66-63 lead. And Hydeeman was just starting. In a 12-2 start to the fourth quarter a run that pushed the Lynx's run to 21-6 she scored or assisted on every score. Hydeeman scored. Then she fed first Smith and then Napiasa Collier for baskets. Then she scored again. Finally with 7.17 left in the game she fed Dorka Juhas for a basket and the Lynx were up 78-65. Box score, Lynx 90 Dallas 78. The Lynx needed all of it. They were playing without Bridget Carlton who was out because of an elbow injury. And Collier and Courtney Williams both struggled with their shooting. Collier had 16 points but was 5 for 17 from the field. Williams was 3 for 11. Still five Lynx players finished in double figures with Kayla McBride scoring 19 and Ju has getting 11. The Wings scored 44 points in the paint but only 6 in the fourth quarter. They tried to pound the ball inside but were outscored by the Lynx 23 to 1 on made free throws. The Lynx also turned 16 Wings turnovers into 20 points. The Wings shot nearly 48%. But by the end points were coming harder. Dallas. 3-10, lost its 8th consecutive game despite 17 points each from Sevji Uzan and Matty Segrist and 15 from Billings. That's what makes us great Smith said. We wear people down. Hyde Eamon did that in particular. It's been coming for T. Reeve said. I'm really happy for her. She was able to get to the rim with aggression play with some pace. Obviously her best game as a Lynx. I go into every game with aggression Hydeeman said. But it's what the defense gives me. I was more me today and I took it. Even on a sore ankle. I'm going to twist my ankle before every game she said.